Combin on the air. Thanks for tuning in to Instagram Growth Podcast. We love having you here and it's our mission to bring you all of the latest and greatest tips, skills and know-how to make you the best Instagram marketer that you can be. We know that you have it in you and we are going to show you how. Now, let's get started. Hi there friends, nice to be here again. My name is Anne, I'm the host of Instagram Growth Podcast Show and I really missed you during this long break. Hope you had a nice time during this Christmas holiday with your family and friends and now ready to get your monthly portion of Instagram marketing. Today, we continue the conversation we started last time in the episode number 6. I'll remind you, in the sixth episode, I gave you several really cool ideas for content creation. I hope some of you already tried to implement them in life. So today, I'm going to share some more important information on how to make your post even more engaging and more interesting. So is there such a thing as a perfect Instagram post? We know that Instagram is mostly about visual, but with an ever-growing list of new features, it is even more important than ever to understand what other ingredients of a post help bring higher engagement on Instagram. In the age of content creators, Instagram still has some secrets for some of us. If you haven't figured out how to create a closer to perfection post, you have come to the right place. From captions lengths to videos or giveaways, I've put together some great ideas you might want to follow in the quest of finding the perfect recipe for your brand. And if you are sketching your digital marketing strategy right now, click subscribe button in order to subscribe to Instagram Growth Podcast and not miss our useful and effective episodes. And as soon as you are done, let's dive in! The first thing that I was thinking about when I thought about a perfect Instagram post were, of course, Instagram captions. So what is best Instagram post size? So the best Instagram captions for 2020 are short, to the point and easy to remember. You know that good stories are the ones that get stuck in your head for a long period of time. They intrigue you and they create either a strong emotion or desire. That should be a must for your Instagram posts as well. Apart from compelling images, the captions are also a big part of the equation. So do not leave them to the last minute and plan them in advance. Of course, you can edit them later, but why shouldn't you have the perfect caption from the beginning? And the text do not even have to be super long as it used to be in 2019 or earlier. On the contrary, in this case, less is more has the right meaning. You do not have to go that extra mile to make your captions too lengthy in 2020. World is striving for everything that could be done fast, short, on the go, and Instagram is no exception. So try to make your Instagram captions engaging, but with as few words as possible. In fact, the perfect post has fewer than 10 words. Do not move the spotlight out of the images or the videos or any other content you have. In a nutshell, a good Instagram caption should be like this. Simple, catchy, very tailored to your brand or to your business and wrapped up in a context. The next thing you can do in order to make your posts look more engaging and more interesting is posting more carousels than images or just videos. Easy to set and to swipe through, carousels are a really fun thing and they can take you the pain of choosing only one perfect photo for your Instagram post. The app allows you to add up to 10 photos or videos in one single post. This is called generic carousel. Since its release in 2015, as far as I remember, it has conquered users. Choosing high-quality images is a must on Instagram. Also, pay close attention to the first photo or video you are using. They should appeal to swipe left to see the others and so on. So if you want to be extra sure, include a reminder in caption, for example, to swipe all the images or to swipe all the videos and so on. 
So carousel posts are also encouraged by Instagram algorithm. Think about it next time you are planning your publication. And how can you make the best use out of this feature out of carousel posts? So if you want to be creative, you can create a step-by-step -step process, for example, or post before and after photos, zoom in your product or launch one using this cool feature that Instagram provides you with. Or you can use it to break videos longer than 60 seconds, by the way. And if you are not convinced to follow this approach, you will be pleased to find out that according to our recent study, depending on the profile size, carousel posts exceed in engagement both single images and videos between 1.65% and 5.13%. The next thing I want to tell you I think will be true forever. So. When they say content is the king on Instagram, they are right. And for 2020, the situation remains the same. Because not any type of content is relevant to your brand, make sure you choose wisely your posts. First of all, make a list of things your company, your business wants to emphasize the most. Then just put it into action. So, here is a list of ideas that might help you create a consistent brand image on Instagram. So, first, give a sneak peek of your next product or service release. Engage with your followers and ask for their opinion. This is a good way to grab some feedback in advance. Then, share some info about founder, founders, your colleagues, company, and so on. People really like to have a glimpse of the ones who make decisions, especially if they are recognizable. And post a how-to video or any other tutorial. The chances are your target audience is going to love it. If your company is a travel agency, for example, show them how you are planning a tour in an exotic place. Keep it real and tell about the good sides as well as the challenging you are facing. So show them that not everything in your life, in your work, is that easy. Earlier, I mentioned the importance of carousel posts on Instagram. Now, I want you to take advantage of the power of Instagram videos. And by videos, I mean and post videos and stories and Instagram TV. Every social media platform tries to provide an integrated experience so that the users won't leave the platform in search of a different kind of content. With Instagram, Instagram TV gives you the opportunity to experiment and test what content resonates with your followers. You could use that information as a guide when posting videos as a part of your feed. So when you create a video for your Instagram post, do not forget that the first seconds count the most. They will make the audience stay tuned or bounce away. So m make sure these first seconds are really interesting and attention grabbing. Moreover, if you attended one of my recent webinars with Johannes Kanter, you should know that videos and Instagram TV and stories are 100% trends of 2020 on Instagram. More and more people prefer scrolling the feed to just watching stories, Instagram TV and just videos. So if you decided to make a video a really big part of your content strategy on Instagram and you should decide to do this. So here are some great tips that will make your videos more appealing to your audience. First, make sure that your video answers questions that your followers might have or that at least it can provide an entertaining value to the experience of the viewers. Remember, everything you post on Instagram should provide value, either fun, okay? Then, ask questions within your video so that you make it more engaging. This may also provide, depending on the subject, the guarantee of a call to action behavior if you direct your audience toward making a decision that will bring you the desired benefits. And don't forget about engagement. Engage with your followers as much as possible. So if you ask them a question and they answered in high numbers, make some time to respond to every comment. Show them that you really care. Show them that you 
you didn't just ask the question because you, uh, Anne from Instagram Growth Podcast told you to ask questions in captions. No, show them that it is you who decided to ask them and uh, their opinion is the thing that really matters for you, okay? So, about asking questions in your post, actually. Marketing and branding are all about understanding the needs of customers and providing the best answers in well-defined budget and time. So, using Instagram to promote yourself, a product or a service provides you the best tool to understand the demand. Use these tactics to learn more about your audience and get valuable information that you can use for future strategies. Just as in videos, getting direct input from your audience humanizes your posts, your brand, your business, or wh whatever you want to promote on Instagram. So, Asking questions on Instagram is a strategy that enables you to obtain key data from your audience and to better understand their preferences when it comes to your brand. You can also use an Instagram poll to generate buzz. This will make people feel part of a decision-making process for you and generate the engagement that you are looking for. This is your best opportunity to get real feedback and to adjust your future strategy depending on the answers. However, asking questions will not help you with your post engagement. Questions will give you insights, but not better Instagram stats. Another thing that can make your post be a close to perfection post is emojis. So, emojis humanize text and make readers better understand the emotion, the contest, the mood and message you want to communicate. Brains are primed to see faces in every corner of the visual world, so it's very natural to connect emojis with the state of mind that you want to emphasize. Even more, because Instagram is the most visual social media platform, you should use emojis for all captions and comments to ensure a better response from your audience. We were in a quest to find out how to create the best Instagram post. This is why we conducted a comprehensive content and engagement study, which also looks at how brands use images and how Instagram performance is affected by them. So, among others, we found out the following. On average, that 23 is the special number you are aiming for when it comes to emojis. Adding 23 in a single post can increase your engagement rate to 4.95%. When it comes to images, the engagement rises from 2.15% to 2.72% when adding emojis. For carousels, the engagement goes from 2.52% to 3.06%. Adding images in your video post increases your brand engagement from 1.88% to 3.20%. And if you are wondered what are the most popular of them, well, this is the answer. The hard eyes, followed by sparkles, heart and camera with flash. Do not shy away from them and use as many as possible. I hope you are not tired yet because I still have lots of information to tell you today. So my next question will be, have you ever considered posting a do-it-yourself post on Instagram? It turns out they perform very well on Insta, especially when it comes to images. They are fun to watch and they are all about being creative. It seems like a really good fit for Instagram. But if on other platforms videos perform better, you should switch your attention to carousels when it comes to do-it-yourself posts on Instagram. Why? Well, the data shows this. For images, do-it-yourself posts have an average engagement rate of 2.73% versus 2.41% in non-do-it-yourself posts. When it comes to carousel, do-it-yourself posts have an average engagement rate of 3.23% versus 2.50% in not-do-it-yourself posts, while video do not perform that well. An average engagement rate of 2.06% versus 2.09% in non-do-it-yourself posts. I know that many businesses uh, starting on Instagram pay their attention to giveaways and try to participate in them. So keep in mind that giveaways are golden content. 
Since everyone loves free stuff, spreading the word about a giveaway is not a hard thing to do. You will invest some money in the things you are giving away, but the number of followers and the engagement you will receive is priceless. Running an Instagram giveaway can easily boost your posts if you prepare an early campaign well. This is why you should carefully decide on the giveaway price, draw a plan and draft rules available for all of your followers. Giveaways will help you better interact with your audience, you will have the chance to break the digital barrier and to actually give them something palpable. Here are some findings from our study to help you get a better idea of this type of content. So for images. Giveaway posts have an average engagement rate of 3.25% versus 2.40% in non-giveaway posts. For carousels, giveaway posts have an average engagement rate of 3.58% versus 2.53% in non-giveaway posts. And for videos, giveaway posts have an average engagement rate of 2.38% versus 2.00% in non-giveaway posts. Of course, it's up to you to decide whether you should participate in a giveaway or not, but if you decide to participate, make sure you have a very well-planned content strategy and all your posts provide extra value for the period of giveaway so that your followers will not want to leave you after the giveaway is over. And the last thing I would like to tell you about today is Instagram Analytics. Posting your content is not the end of the crafting, it is only the middle of it. Because you have to monitor, analyze and draw conclusions and then rethink or reshape your marketing strategy, you have to use a complete Instagram analytics and reporting tool. Always double check your work. Content Growth lets you compare your posts and tells you which one performs better. So you can sort your posts by most or least commented and see what works the best. Because Instagram app only gives you restricted data, Common Growth Instagram Analytics dives you deep into content behavior. So there are many rules you can follow and some steps you can make, but most importantly, stay honest and true to your values in order to create the Instagram type of content. Your brand needs to make its voice heard in this ocean of excellent Instagram posts. This is why you shouldn't forget to interact with your followers. They are the engine of your complex machinery. Remember, engagement is what it all was created for. Thank you for listening to this episode. In the description you will find a link to Combin YouTube channel where you can watch the recording of Instagram Trends and Tips webinar for 2020 with Johannes Kanter, entrepreneur and social media strategist. Subscribe to Instagram Growth Podcast, rate it on Apple Podcasts. Let's change the world for the better together. Thank you and I wish you all the best. Hear you soon. Goodbye. This is a podcast sponsored by Combin.com. Grow and manage your Instagram safely and organically with Combin Growth and Combin Scheduler. Instagram promotion is easy. Combin.com.